Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we will learn about uh, inserting combo box value into database table. So let's start. So in our previous tutorial we have created this uh, combo box and we have populated this. If I run this, now the project is running. So if I click on this, now you can see we have these values into in our combo box. Now we will select one of its uh, uh, up value in this uh, combo box and we will insert its uh, value member which means its id into the database now if i close this and close this as well and if i show you the code uh, now if we go to our, um, this registration form dot cs now you can see here that combo box dot, dot display member is uh, district name and um and combo box dot value member is this district id now we will select this district name but we will insert this district id into our table so let's start so first we will go to our uh, uh, table and we will click on this student underscore table and we will create a new column into this table so i'll right click on this and go to its design and now i'll come here and here we will use district uh, underscore id and it will be of type int and for now we will allow null because we have some data in this table and if we do not allow null then we have to insert the data there so for now we will uh, allow null i will control s it now if i show you the design of this uh, district table so now this is the design of uh, our district table now we have a district id here and uh, we will have a district ID here so later on we will connect these two as a uh, uh, primary key and foreign key constraint it will be foreign key in this table and it is primary key in this table now if I show you the data in this uh, table select up 1000 rows so right now we cannot connect de them as a uh, uh, primary key and foreign key constraint because we have this data uh, in this table so let me truncate this table to remove the data from this table and then we will uh, enter fresh data into this table but before that we will uh, connect these two table by primary key and foreign key constraints so I'll truncate um, table and std underscore table and now if I execute this I misfilled this table so table and now if I execute this it is showing error truncate I misspelled truncate as well so I'll execute it again and now it is successfully executed now we will go to our um, and this uh, database diagram I'll right click on this and new database diagram it is the easiest way to create uh, primary key and foreign key constraints so I'll select this district table and this is TT table and I will click add now you can see that these both table both of these table are added into uh, this database diagram so now I'll select this uh, for, uh, primary key and I will click and drag this to this and now it has opened the uh, fun key constraint um, window now it is saying that uh, uh, district ID is primary key and this table and district ID is foreign key in this is TD underscore table and I will uh, say yes and I will click OK and OK now you can see a connection between these two is created so uh, let me check this again so to check this 
I'll click on this connection and go to its property so it is FK and uh, foreign key constraint yes so now our foreign key is created so now we will go to our uh, uh, table and insert a value into this table so uh, for that first I will go to this code and we will have to add the value of this uh, this district into our code as well as our stored procedure for first I will go here and uh, modify our stored procedure so to modify our stored procedure we will come to this uh, uh, programmability stored procedures and now I'll go to this register student uh, stored procedure and I'll click on this modify and uh, at the end I'll put a comma here and uh, now at um, district underscore id or district id and here we will use at the end of this comma district id and here we will pass in the at the rate district id and now we will execute this and we will see if it is working so now it is showing an error because we have misspelled something now if i come to this uh, stored procedure and now if i check this now it just take id as begin insert uh, that is correct and now if I use here I'll control Z this because there is showing comma at district ID ID this error is showing us that there is um, an error near the keyword begin so we will go to our keyword begin so what is the error here we haven't mentioned the data type of this so i'll use end and now we will execute this now it is successfully executed so now our stored procedure is correct now we will go to our code so i'll come to the, this code and now here to our design to this save button because with this save button we are executing this registered student uh, stored procedure so here at the end I will use cmd dot parameters dot add with value and here we will pass in the parameter the parameter is uh, at uh, district id and then we will pass in the value comma the value is uh, mm, district combo box dot value member and now I'll put semicolon here now our code is ready so we are going to execute this now I'll execute this so now our form is running so I'll uh, registration now I'll put in a value here so I'll use Tanvir and then I will use Ahmad and then I will use this and this and then I'll use uh, uh, this one and uh, then for time I will use this one and uh, district I will use Islamabad and now I'll click on the save and let's see what happens now it has Kemonos and error okay it is showing this uh, as walker it is showing us error this one that in watcher to error converting data type in watcher to end because we have used here the value member and where will you member return us the column name uh, which is district id and which is which is, which is an or uh, string value and which cannot be converted to um, uh, 
uh, integer value so we have to use here dot selected uh, selected value this one and now I'll stop it and rerun this and I'll go to registration form now it is loaded so I'll use Tanvir and here I will use Ahmad and here I will use uh, this one and this one as well I'll use this this one and here I will select time and here I'll use this one and then I will save this now data successfully saved so I'll use go to my table and select top 1000 record now we have entered district id so if i come here now district id 5 is here we have entered uh, uh, mardan mardan here so now i'll go to our uh, district table and select top 1000 rows and we will see on which number mardan is mardan is on 5 this one now we will add in another record so i'll come here and i'll ma make this tanvir khan and this will make will make this uh, Tanvi Ahmad Khan and um, I'll select this one and uh, date is this one and time is this one and now I'll uh, select this Peshawar and now I'll save this now data successfully saved so I'll uh, close this and come to this one and now I'll execute again and now I'll go to end again and now we have entered Peshawar which has um, this artistic ID is 1 so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you